How do you guys? So today um, I'm going to take a bit of a risk. Um, I've been checking the rivers like probably most of you for the last couple of weeks and they're up and down like a yo-yo. So, um, But the, I'm going to take a gamble on a BAA stretch of water over in Tamworth. Um, so it's probably about a 40 minute drive for me. So that's my gamble is the time. Because um, you know time's a bit of a commodity for me. Like a lot of you I guess. But um, yeah, uh, I've been looking at the live cams all around by me for... Um, for the rivers, you naughty boys. We ain't no Barry. <laughs> oh, sorry, Barry. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, they've all been pretty coloured up um, and not very fishable, for lures anyway. Um, so yeah, the, I'm gonna take a gamble on this river and height-wise on the chart, it looks to be spot on. Clarity-wise, I have no idea till I get there. So um, yeah. The, uh, a couple of changes. One is my last GoPro uh, decided to mess around again. So the one I've got now is the Black 7. Um, so that's now 4K, 60 frames per second. Uh, pain in the backside. My last one was an internal battery, which lasted quite, quite a while, to be fair. This one is now back to rechargeable batteries, and the batteries don't last as long. Uh, I, had, I was lucky enough, because of um, working in retail, that um, my staff discount. Um, it was no real difference so um, in cost, but uh, I've got two batteries and I do still feel they're not lasting as long as the internal battery on the last, which I think was a Session 5 um, 4K, but um, yeah. And then uh, to go with that, this only cost me a few quid. Uh, not really going to, yeah. So basically, um, this is a, a Telesyn uh, polarising lens. Um, and literally, it just clips onto the front of the GoPro. Because um, what, obviously, as you know, I like to fish clear waters. I absolutely love it. Um, and you know that one video clip I put on Instagram, it's got like three thousand views in like a week or two. It's mad. So people obviously like seeing those sort of views. But all it is is a little um, lens that say goes over the front of the GoPro. Uh, it just slides on. Really neat. Nice and tight. Um, and hopefully we'll take the glare off um, the water. Uh, if anything, you guys will probably have to see more than me because I've lost my polarised glasses, so that's a bit of a nightmare. But um, yeah, and then I found out a few more. I was running really low on uh, jig flies and I couldn't work out why, or couldn't find any in my bag, uh, it, because I'd put a load to one side. So I've got the old uh, rainbow jig fly back out, um, get that back on the go for something smaller. In regards to bait fish, not the fish, hopefully. Um, I don't know if you can see in the bag, but these are... Um, now, I can't remember if these are roach, flash tail or, or rod. But basically, the, I'm not, I don't want to shake them. These have got rattles in. And I really do feel that um, that rattle gives a, uh, the added attraction. Um, I've seen recently on... I can't remember which, which fly... Was it Kangrelis? It's one of, the, one of the fly videos where um, he designed a fly, just a fly, not a jig fly. Uh, and he's got some form of a, a bung or a, a disc at the front that creates movement in the water to, to create noise uh, and vibration for the pike to home in on. Um, I feel you don't need those when you've got that rattle in there because it, it just gets the pike's attention straight away. So And can, in my experience, force a, a pike that might not normally take into an aggressive take just because of the noise it's making. So, and then, um, which I've not, I've not had much success on this. I know some of you guys have, but black. Um, I think this is one of uh, Martin's from um, MS Custom Flies. Again, you might have a, there is a, there is a rattle in there. So yes, we'll get on the road, get a bit of petrol and uh, see if that gamble pays off. Catch you in a bit. Yes, fish on. 
no idea what it is. It's not a big one, I don't think. Oh, it's kiting. <laughs> Come on, buddy. In the net. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased to come now. <laughs> right, uh, first fish in about my fourth cast. So I'm really pleased to decide to stay in town. Um, Duke fly, nothing massive, um, but really nice, healthy fish. Full of beans, but um, yeah, nice start today. Really, really windy today, as I predicted. But um, yeah, absolutely awesome. It's getting back. <laughs> Go on, turn. Nice fish, nice fish. Oh, got in. Got him, got him this time. It's a nice enough fish anyway. It's not going to be a double, but if he stays on, I don't think. He's taking it easy. What I'm not going to do is play the fish around this uh, shopping trolley. Just kiting. <laughs> Was. Oh, come on. Oh, it's a different fight in the river, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. In the net. Get in. Nice one. <laughs> Second fish of the day. Uh, or should I say session? Really long river pipe. Well, I say really long, long for me anyway. But it's just come out in the net. Hey, proper fish, proper fish. We'll get back in the water shortly. Rest it up. I've just rested it quite a, quite a lot because the fight has just given me. Um, I think I might wait just to see. But. Uh, Absolutely made up. So uh, get back in the water and then we'll uh, get a photo. Okay. Just. It's a pike. They've got lots of teeth and eight lots of oil. Um, probably about eight or nine pounds. That's a good one, isn't it? So. Do you catch many in this river? I don't come very often this side, to be honest. The last time I was here, I caught some. My friend catches quite regularly. So I'm just going to get in the water to, 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 to the yeah, mines. Yeah, yeah. We're just, we're just walking back there. Is he just caught that? Yeah. That's what he busted up, really. It's, um, yeah. Yeah. So you've got a photo of it. Right, 
the park is in this link. I put forth the last one, reset. Nine pound three. Absolutely lovely. Right. She's wanting to go back now, so. There she goes. Awesome. Right here guys, uh, <coughs> walk for about an hour in that direction. Um, I've had two fish out, so I'm really pleased. Um, a reasonably nice one at just over nine pound as well. Um, but with this river being a little bit clearer than uh, I thought it might have been, I'm just gonna go to the, the further end, uh, just before it, where it meets the other river and uh, see if there's any pike waiting around on the, uh, where the waters mix. Um, as you know, I've had to change the jig fly over because I've lost one. But now I've got a, a rattling one on, so I'll see if that makes a difference. But it is a lot smaller, so that might well make the difference. We'll see. Well, typically, uh, I found out the hard way, the second battery in the GoPro battery pack is pants. It's given me about 30 minutes record time and it's uh, given the ghost up. I did swap over to the, the little noisier lure fly nothing was uh, really happening and on my way back I've gone over to one of the bigger jig flies that I've got and this pike in the same spot I've chucked the noisy one has engulfed it so yeah typically if the GoPro is working uh, not a big fish but gave an absolutely amazing fight it's still going now Unfortunately, there was a bit of blood, but um, it's a proper mean angry fish, this one was. A little bit of blood because I think it's, it's actually the, the lure itself has caught um, the back of his throat. We'll sort it out, rest him up, and get a bit of picture. But he's got a really small mouth as well, but really welcome fish. Right, I've, I've rested the fish up for a bit. It took a while to get it out. What had happened is the jig fly hook had gone down under a gill raker and hooked its mouth. So, a bit of a in through the side but um, once again here's the fish I'm gonna take a quick photo and then we'll get it back right so as before my GoPro's died one handed release in the net and uh, there she goes nice one right here guys so that's the end of today's session um, I'm gonna have to dash because I've got about an hour to get home from where I am just to get back in time for the little end. So um, to sum up today, um, it's been really good to be fair in the end. Uh, it took me about 42 minutes to get here. So I was plain sailing to get here, landed on the river I wanted to. And although the height was spot on, um, <laughs> it was like chocolate, you couldn't see a thing. So I've come away from there, dropped onto another adjoining river um, and it was spot on to be fair. Um, I wish I'd got a bit more time. Um, but I haven't, so hey ho. Uh, I've had three fish, so I'm going home happy bunny. Uh, one was uh, just over nine pound, and it's really nice because it ended up surprising a couple of old uh, ladies, bless them. Um, we then started talking about some girl that had been murdered in Dudley, I, I don't know, uh, Coventry, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah. Um, the GoPro, I'm really unhappy with that second battery. I literally didn't get about 30 minutes worth of record time, so that's pants, and I lost a jig fly, so that's pants as well, but. Uh, <laughs> When I came back down through to where the, the end of the session, if you like, put a noisy jig fly on, so it got a rattle in it, but it's much smaller. Um, and I didn't get any follows, any takes. When I've come back to come to my car, I've, I've stepped it back up to a much bigger, if it's 11 or 13 inch reaper, um, it's got a rear stinger, and that, that got the third fish of the day, so, and that, that came out of a spot I'd fished the other lure through, so it just goes to show, it's not always about noise, or, you know, it can just be a presentation alone, so. Um, and then just to touch base to say 
I have put it on Instagram, but to say thank you so, so much to everybody. Um, I have gone through 2,000 subscribers, which although well, a few years ago, I never thought that would be possible. And I said that on my last update and went through 1,000, but it's just sort of, for, for little old me anyway, it it's, makes my, my day really. So um, thank you very, very much to everybody that subscribes uh, and leaves the comments and uh, suggestions. Um, so yeah, really great bunch. So thank you very much. Um, what I will do, um, I've got some stuff coming to me, um, some stuff that, that from the people that I use. Um, so it's not stuff I've paid for, they are donating it. Um, I'll probably chuck a few things in myself and I'm gonna do a, a random giveaway uh, at some point down the line, but I'll, I'll announce the dates for that. Um, and put the video up so people can comment and uh, we can get a competition going to say for me, for me to say thank you to you guys so um, yeah I will catch you in a bit <laughs> <laughs>